I have before me the HP Omen and the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, two fantastic laptops if you're looking for a lot of performance out of the i9-13900HX processor. But the question is which one has more performance and from a build quality standpoint, which one is right for you? Now, first and foremost, if you're looking for a thinner laptop, I would go for the HP Omen. It's slightly thinner than the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i and it's about the same weight. So the thinness is definitely gonna be an advantage. Now you can see from the chassis, the Omen is a little bit like wider than the Lenovo. And then as we stack them on top of each other, they're the same width. So you definitely have a tiny bit bigger laptop by going with the Omen, but it is a little bit thinner. Now from a build quality and assembly standpoint, the aluminum materials are more noticeable on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. We do have aluminum on the bottom cover, the top cover, the side panels. However, we have this plastic band wrapping the back of the chassis. The aluminum materials are good on this laptop, but they just don't seem as thick. So as you can tell, when I go ahead and I press on the top cover of the Omen, it presses in a bit more than when I press the top cover of the Legion. So a little bit thicker materials, a little bit more uh, hardy, I would say. Um, the assembly on the Lenovo Legion is great. Um, everything is assembled nicely, bottom cover into the side panel. However, you do have these kind of lips and edges that kind of stick out on the uh, where it assembles into the side panel. Whereas with the Omen, it's a little more flush. I like the way the Omen is put together. Together. It's more simple, a little bit more clean design aesthetic, and all the edges fit very nicely in to the side panel. So from an assembly standpoint, I like the Omen. From a material standpoint, I'm liking the Legion. So definitely more of your preference. Save an extra 6% off your purchase by going to Lenovo.com right now and using the discount code BENGEXTRA6. That's a custom discount code only for my channel and it ends at the end of September. So you better make your purchase quick because that discount code does have a time restraint on it. They've set up that code for the channel only through the end of September. Ben G extra six to save you a little extra money on your purchase of either a Lenovo Legion or Lenovo lock laptop. Now they both have this ledge along the back. However, the Legion ledge is a little bit thicker, uh, quite a bit thicker actually. Now the main reason for that is because the screen has a smaller bezel along the bottom. So you can see here, the screen looks taller and bigger on the Omen, but it's because look at this huge, fat, chunky bezel along the bottom. Not my favorite, just cast in my opinion here. I love the look into the Legion a little bit better. Uh, it feels a little bit more refined. The Omen is great. Um, they did change a lot of the exterior of the laptop, but as you look into the interior, it looks very, very similar to the 2022 and 2021 model of the Omen. So I would say they made great improvements from the exterior build quality, but they kind of stuck with the same thing they were doing on the interior of the laptop. Before we get carried away onto the interior, let's go ahead and check out the ports. But first, if you're curious about the exact price and availability, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, of course, that is what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, regarding the ports on the HP Omen and the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, two USB type C's on the Omen and the headphone jack on the left side, USB type A and USB type C for the L7P. Now, looking at the back panel, you can see we have network ports, USB type C for the Legion, HDMIs, two USB type A's, we only have one USB type A for the Omen, and then our power adapters are both here. As we go to the final side, we have our headphone jack, manual cutoff switch for the webcam, and then USB type A. A. So basically the same ports on these laptops, just in different locations. And for the Legion, we have more USB type A's than we do for the Omen. Now, and regarding the manual cutoff switch, as we open these two laptops, you can actually slide a little piece of plastic uh, on the HP Omen, and that's what covers the webcam. So you have this little slider here on top. But both laptops open easily with one hand and close, no big deal. Now the screen flex is going to be a little bit more intense on the HP Omen. You can see it's like a wobbly wave, whereas the screen flex on the Legion, it's a little bit thicker of a screen as you can see, so it's a little more hardy, a little sturdier. Um, now as far as the screen wobble, um, you know, we'll just do this lightly here. You can see this one kind of vibrates for a moment but the screen wobble is definitely more noticeable on the HP Omen. Now, swinging these two laptops around, normally the Legion Pro 7i would be winning in the screen competition because the brightness is great on the laptop. However, HP had to come out with this Beast Mini LED display, which has 778 nits of screen brightness. 
definitely killing it on the screen brightness competition here. And then we have 100% sRGB, 92% Adobe RGB, and 100% DCI-P3, all at a Delta of 1.98. Whereas the Pro 7i, we have 537 nits, still very respectable brightness, at a 100% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB, and 80% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 0.73. So the Legion has a slightly more color accurate screen, but the Omen can reach a farther gamut range and has a brighter screen. So definitely there's two options in what you're looking for between these two laptops. Now overall, I prefer the keyboard on the Legion. They have kind of this dished key. It's very nice. It feels great under your fingers. Both have a medium key press, but overall just the keyboard on the Legion is very comfortable. Now, if I was going to choose these laptops based on trackpad, the HP Omen would definitely be winning. It has a much more dampened, soft, kind of comfortable feel to the click. The Legion is just kind of a traditional like click, click, click. Uh, I just don't like it as much. Here's a quick sample of me using both the keyboards and trackpads so you can hear what they sound like. Overall, you can't go wrong with the two trackpads. They both have their unique offerings, but I would lean towards the Legion personally. Now, both laptops have webcams along the top of the screen. Here's a quick sample so you can hear what they sound like and you can see what they look like. This is the webcam on the HP Omen Transcendent and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i and a little sample of the audio for you as well. And regarding the speakers, both laptops have speakers underneath the keyboard deck and here's a little audio sample for you of those. Now regarding the upgrade path, both laptops have access to two RAM sticks as well as two M.2 slots. One comes unoccupied, one is occupied. So the upgrade path on these laptops is equally great. Now I will say if you're interested in getting better battery life, you might wanna choose the HP Omen. It has slightly better battery life, than the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. Now this was interesting to me because I was able to turn off the dedicated GPU with the Legion Pro 7i where I wasn't able to with the HP Omen. Now we do have a mini LED display here on the HP Omen, so that could lead to a power saving advantage. However, overall we set both laptops to 20% screen brightness, turn on window battery saver mode, and set the laptops to their quiet modes. And that's how we got those results. Without further ado, it's time to get into the benchmarks. And these laptops are equipped with the exact same specs. So this is making for a really great video of even competition. Now looking at Geekbench single core, you can see that the HP Omen stands out above the Pro 7i. Not by a lot, but definitely by a good bit. Now taking a look at multi-core, this is where things switch around a bit and we see substantially more performance in multi-core from the Legion. However, as we look at Cinemage R23, things change a bit. We see a better score or almost neck and neck for single core. And then we see the Legion slightly above the Omen. So let's get out of these simulated benchmarks. I run them just because I know y'all like them, but they drive me crazy because they never actually help us with like real world use cases. So let's look at a Photoshop. We have the Photoshop benchmark here, and you can see that we're running a 1229 inside of the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i and a 1217 for the HP Omen. So these laptops are truly neck and neck in performance. Now going ahead and take a look at After Effects for the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i and 995, followed up closely with a 993 from the HP Omen. Again, neck and neck. Taking a look at Blender Classroom, we have a 1004 compared to a 1010, neck and neck. Now for Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, they kind of switch back and forth throughout these different tests. So I would say that punch for punch, they're gonna get about the same performance. So overall, you can't go wrong with either model with the configurations that they have.
in regards to 4K export times, you take a nine minute 4K clip, put it into Premiere Pro and export it out at full quality 4K YouTube settings. You can see we have a 217 from the Pro 7i and a 216 from the HP Omen. Doing that same type of test, but with 6K footage, you can see we have a 15 minute and 41 second export time from the HP Omen and a 11 minute and 43 second export time from the Pro 7i. So substantially better export time from the Pro 7i in regards to 6K footage. However, as we get into the playback, you can see that we have zero drop frames and zero drop frames for 4K through 6K. And then as we get into the 8K footage, they're almost the same as well. Well. So we're seeing great performance from these laptops for 6K footage. However, if you want a faster export time, I would lean you towards the LP7i. Now for DaVinci Resolve, if you want a better export time, I would lean you towards the Legion Pro 7i as well. Three minutes and 55 seconds versus five minutes and six seconds. They're both gonna have great playback, but you're gonna save about a minute on the export time by going with the Legion laptop. Now, this is a really hard decision for me. Which one would I recommend you buy? The build materials on the Lenovo Legion are fantastic. Now I've been called a Lenovo Legion fanboy many times on my channel and I realize that I have expressed how much I like this laptop because the series is great. They have so many great options. However, HP has really produced something special this year. They've updated their laptop, made it thinner, improved the build quality and the assembly. And so it's fantastic. On top of that, the performance is amazing and it has a super bright screen with a large trackpad. Things that I really look for in a creator laptop. Now with the Lenovo Legion, we have the fantastic keyboard that feels super nice under my fingers. However, we have the smaller trackpad. We have really great build materials and fantastic performance as well as a little bit extra connectivity. But I would say that the performance is equally as great with the HP Omen. So it's really up to me deciding which one I wanna carry around in my bag. And if I were going to make the purchasing decision, I would still probably lean towards the Lenovo Legion. However, the trackpad is a huge advantage and the screen is so much brighter. So I'm torn. Comment below and let me know which one you would pick. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase and click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your purchasing decision. I'll see you in the next one.